This morning, questions are swirling about the future of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein after that report that Rosenstein allegedly discussed plotting against the president. Rosenstein, who oversees the Russia investigation, has denied the account, but it's given fresh ammunition to the president and Republicans who say some law enforcement officials are working against Mr. Trump. And now one top senator wants the whole thing investigated. This morning, mounting fallout after that bombshell report in the New York Times that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein discussed invoking the 25th Amendment last spring to remove President Trump from office and that Rosenstein even suggested wearing a wire to secretly record conversations with President Trump on at least two occasions. The comments reportedly came after Mr. Trump fired FBI Director James Comey. Two Justice Department officials tell NBC News Rosenstein was was being sarcastic, but a person in the room for one of those meetings tells NBC he was serious. In Missouri, Mr. Trump lashing out. Just look at what is now being exposed in our Department of Justice and the FBI. Look at what's going on. Rosenstein firmly denies the account, saying in part, the New York Times story is inaccurate and factually incorrect. Later adding, I never pursued or authorized recording the president and any suggestion that I have ever advocated for the removal of the president is absolutely false. Some Republicans, including Senator Lindsey Graham, are using the news story to call for a second special counsel to investigate alleged bias within in the Department of Justice. He shouldn't fire Rosenstein unless you believe Rosenstein's lying. He said he did not do the things alleged, but there's a bureaucratic coup against President Trump being un un discovered here. And we need a special counsel to look at this. All of it as cabinet officials were pressed on whether they have ever talked about removing the president from office. I don't think that's a reality at all among all of the cabinet members. I've just never heard that. That's absurd. If you can't be on the team, if you're not supporting this mission, then maybe you just ought to find something else to do. And I guess, Kristen, the question is, how may this affect the midterm election? And we do have a new uh, poll out from NBC and The Wall Street Journal, right? Voters watching this very closely, Hoda, there's no doubt about that. And according to this new poll, Democrats actually hold a 12-point lead in congressional preference among registered voters. But there is some good news for Republicans. That same poll shows that Republican enthusiasm about the upcoming election has increased. And now it's nearly even with Democrats. 65% of registered Democrats say they're very interested in the midterms. Compare that with 61% of Republicans who say the same thing. That four-point lead, by the way, for Democrats is down from the 11 points they had in August, Hoda and Savannah. All right, Kristen at the White House. Kristen, thanks.